a professor of African literature in the Delta State University, Abraka, and Najite Jaruega wants Nigerian youths to be more involved in governance in the country. She said this as a public lecture series to mark the 10th anniversary of Advocate Publications, publishers of Advocate newspaper. Professor Ojarwega wondered why Nigerian youths excel politically abroad, but play second fiddle to the old brigade back at home. Here's a report. Train up a child in the way he should go, so that when he is old, he will not depart from it. This is an old cliché that is still relevant even in our day. A cursory look at the nation's political space reveal a dearth of youth participation, a development discussant at a public lecture to mark the 10th anniversary of Advocate Publications frowned at. Professor Najite Jarwega of Delta State University is the chief lecturer. In Nigeria, we are under a leadership crisis. We cannot run away from that. We are facing a very very strong case of leadership crisis. Who are the leaders? Who will be the followers? Chino Achebe, the famous Nigerian writer, had said back then, about 20 years ago, that the trouble with, the problem with Nigeria was what? The failure of leadership. But these days we have come to identify that it's no longer the failure of leadership, but also now the failure of what? Followership. Because our mindsets have shown that we keep entrenching, we keep enabling, we keep promoting those people that we ought to relegate, those people that we should break away from. And they, remember, I keep saying it, the youth are innovators. They are the ones that have fresh ideas. They are the ones that ought to be energetic in all the sense, in every sense of the word. But here they are, not even by themselves, you know, engaging their full potentials, allowing themselves to be led by the nose, by those who have not done them well. Professor Jarwega took a swipe at successive governments in Nigeria, which has led to a sharp rise in the Jaguar syndrome. This foundational failure of Nigeria's leadership, recruitment processes, have engendered social stratification and alienation, marginalization, because vast segments of our population, particularly youth, remain what? Being there, excluded. Sorry, excuse me being excluded, and that's why I feel it has a resonating effect. What started as a self-seeking attempt by colonial masters have become a, a pattern and a way where few people decide who will become leaders, and then they shut the gate to, I mean, against others. So it also accounts for Nigeria's disenfranchisement of a young population of potential leaders. The level of youth engagement and consequent empowerment in Nigeria is quite low. The publisher of the Advocate newspaper, Shedrak Onicha, corroborated Professor Jarwega's position. Any nation that does not take care of its youth is headed for a doom. And uh, over time, as a, a, a political journalist, I've covered a lot of what the, the, politician, uh, the political class tag youth empowerment. And I discovered that most of those empowerment uh, programs does not really take the youth to the next level. Uh, empowerment should be able to prepare somebody to leave the person from the current situation he is, the current level to a different level. But what we see in our climb is that you see that every year they gather youth, that they are doing youth empowerment, you see the people the same level. Nigerian youth excel outside the shores of this country. They occupy both elective and appointive positions but the reverse is the case with youths here in Nigeria. It is hoped that forums like this will go a long way to change the narrative and the maxim, youths are the leaders of tomorrow, will become a reality. Alex Ubunaya, reporting for Quest News.